Hi, welcome back to Pia Tech Talk. In this episode, we're going to look into timers and uh, the interrupt that they can create and uh, to make some periodic uh, interrupts and the callbacks. And uh, for that case, also visualize it by blinking an LED. So tag along. So we are in the cube configurator and uh, we go into look into clock. We see here that we have 170 megahertz and uh, it's it's way beyond what we need. So we go on under RCC and we disable the external crystals. And uh, we can also, while we are at here, look into the sys that the serial wire are enabled. We can now look into the clock configuration. We used internal clock, high speed internal RC clock, and we go into the PLL and it generates 170 megahertz. We can just reduce that to 64 megahertz and hit enter and uh, it will uh, calculate its uh, frequency by itself. Since it's a timer that we are going to look into, it, it's nice to know that the, the, the timer APB1 timer is running on 64 megahertz. That is crucial for us to know when we are going to make the settings for the timers. So here we want to look for the timers. Uh, so we start with a high resolution timer and that is unnecessary for our purposes. And then we have the advanced control timers. Uh, we don't need any advanced. Then we have general purpose timers. And uh, we have more general purpose timers. And I'm looking for the basic timers. So the basic timers, there we can see that we have timer six and timer seven. So it looks like what we are looking for. Timer six and seven is a basic timer uh, consists of 16 bit uh, auto reload counter driven by a programmable prescaler. So it sounds like uh, that there is something for us. So uh, this, we select the timer six or seven. Timer six and we hit activate. And we can just make this a bit bigger. And we see here that the parameter settings, we now need to have a prescaler and we had it on 64 megahertz. So if we run 64,000 and minus one, since zero is also counting as one, we first uh, divide that 64 megahertz by uh, this number and uh, we put uh, pre uh, counter per period on 1000 minus one. So that will generate us an interrupt on 1000 milliseconds. Oh, on one, uh, one second. Yeah, it's on 1000. And we can also put an auto preload like that. So we have that enabled. Now we want to have an interrupt generated whenever the timer counts. Uh, uh, times out and uh, so we go under NVIC settings and enable this one. We can also go under NVIC and see that this uh, time six is enabled there and we can also look into the code generation for it. So the time six global interrupts and we can see that it's actually generating the whole call for us and it uh, it's in uh, enabled in the interrupt. I don't need to do much more here, so we can just create a project. Great, so now we are on the core, and normally I just try to build a project to see that uh, it builds without any errors. It did so. So we go under core and source, and we open the main C file. So under the main C file, uh, we have now created the project and we need to uh, start the timer. The, the timer six is initialized uh, by itself here. And uh, under user code begin two, we will start the timer. So there is hall time base start IT and the handler for the timer. So that is the handler for time six. Uh, that is what we need to do uh, before the while loop. And then there is a callback function. And that callback function I normally put in the user begin for. So we get down here and uh, there is um, a callback function that we just paste in. 
So it's the whole time period elapsed callback. So whenever the period is elapsed, it will get an uh, interrupt here. And whenever it gets here, uh, we will then investigate what have actually caused this interrupt. And uh, if it's the time six, then what should we do? We just talk, toggle our LED, which is the LED two on the board. Uh, so we run build. worked and uh, we try to debug it first time we need to uh, verify what debugger we have we can just scan it and it's there apply okay and it tries to talk to the the st link debugger and download the code for us so now we also have the cam the board in in play here so this is the board that I have connected through this uh, cable to the code. So we run our code and we see that the LED is blinking with one second uh, period of periodicity. Okay, this concludes this video. Uh, it was uh, timers and interrupts and callbacks. Uh, we generate an interrupt on one second and we just toggle an LED. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up. It's highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please consider to do so. And hope to see you in the next one and stay safe.